Hello, grade three, four. This week, we're gonna use some of the poetic devices we've learned, and we're going to create a free verse poem. A free verse poem is simply free. It has no rules. You don't have to rhyme. You don't have to use a certain amount of syllables. All you have to do is think of a topic, some wow words, and write. So today I'm gonna to read you an example, then I'm gonna show you how to write a free verse poem, and then you're gonna try it on your own. Remember, the topic can be anything you like. So this one is called From Bat Cave. The cave looked much like any other from a little distance, but as we approached, came almost to its mouth, we saw its walls within that slanted up into a dome, were beating like a wild black lung. It was plastered and hung with the pulsing bodies of bats, the organ music of the body's deep interior, alive, the sacred cave with its thousand gleaming eyes near the clustered rocks where the sea beat with the leather wings of its own dark waves by Eleanor Wilner. Now you'll see in a free verse poem, they, can, they don't end a sentence and put a period. They can choose where they want to put the punctuation anywhere they want to give it a little more style. So you'll notice that the way I read it, I tried to read it the way the author had written it, but it, is, it can be tough. Um, you'll notice throughout this whole poem, there are commas, but there's very few periods. In fact, I think the only period is at the very end. So you kind of get away from some of the rules of punctuation even. You can use a lot of commas and you may not even use a period. It's up to you. It's your free verse poem. So this one was called The Bat Cave. As you can tell, it was about bats. Some wow words I noticed in it, some words that were like, wow, those are really good words, were pulsing, plastered, gleaming, I like the way they used a metaphor to describe the wings. They said, the sea beat with the leather wings of its own dark waves. They're just talking about the bat's movement. And we haven't really talked about metaphors. Uh, they're similar to similes, except for you don't use the words like or as. It's another comparison just without like or as. So they compared the bat wings to the sea here. So I'm gonna write a free verse poem with you today. And then you're gonna try to write one of your own. It can be short, it can be long, it's up to you. So, my topic today is going to be rain because it is currently raining. So I like to think of a topic before I start a free verse poem. Free verse, again, can be about anything. Maybe we want it to be about hockey. Maybe you want it to be about your dog. Maybe you want it to be about your favorite video game. It can be anything. When I write free verse poems, I like to include some uh, onomatopoeias just because they, they make it sound a little more fun. So, onomatopoeias that go with rain, some easy, simple ones that we know of are drip, Drop. Oops, I wrote dirt. See, even teachers make mistakes. Drip. Drop. What other onomatopoeias could I use? Hmm, I'll come back to that. Wow words. I'm thinking of some wow words right now. I'm liking the word cascading, and we'll see how I use that in a minute. Skating. And that means like to kind of fall in a pretty way or to cascade over. Um, what other wow words could I use thinking of the rain? Torrential. So torrential, like a downpour. Sometimes Miss Boyd needs some help too with spelling. So T, Tor, E N T I L, torrential. I'm gonna could, could put downpour if I wanted to. And then some similes. Um, so it the rain was as loud as something uh the i'm trying to think you know what i might come back to that similes can come to you while you're writing too so we'll see what i have so i'm going to start off okay and you're going to notice the way i write it you don't have to write it just across the page like you normally would with a, a uh with writing when you write a story 
A poem can look very different. So I'm gonna start over here. Drip. And then over here, draw. Rain. Smatters. So that's another sound where it's smattering. Smatters on the window. I'm gonna put a period there and then I'm gonna think of something else to put. So drip drop, rain smatters on the window. Then I can write beads of water cascade remember we talked about cascading cascade down the glass because it's glass window boom a torrential downpour and I can't I'm not sure if that's one word or two down and it's always good to check I check on my computer or you can check on um, a dictionary downpour begins The rain falls heavy as lead. I watch. Um, the dry safety of my comfy couch. So, it wasn't a long poem, it was a pretty short poem but it still counts as a free verse. So, drip drop, rain smatters on the window. Beads of water cascade down the glass. Boom, a torrential downpour begins. The rain falls heavy as lead. I watch from the dry safety of my comfy couch. And sometimes when I write a free verse, I go back and I change words. So right now, I don't really like comfy couch. I wanna find another way to put that, like to make it sound like it's a protective area. Um, and I'll, I'll come back to that another time. But yeah, that's how you kind of go about a free verse. You think of a topic and then you just sort of write. So when you write your free verse, I want you to try to do the same. Just think of a topic, any topic you like. Think of some onomatopoeia, some wow words that could go with it, some similes, and then just go for it. It can go anywhere on the page. You can use punctuation however you like, okay? Enjoy, I'm excited to see what your free verses look like.